today there was yet another comment by Rahul Gandhi that met with censure. The election commission asked the Congress leader to be more careful and cautious in his public utterances in the wake of a comment he had made earlier calling the Prime Minister a pickpocket and Panoti. Acting on a Delhi High Court directive of December last year, the poll panel also asked Gandhi Sayan to follow its recent advisory for star campaigners and political leaders in the right earnest during election campaign. Before we go any further, let's remind you of what it is that the Congress MP had said, which has made the Election Commission tell him today, please be careful. Yeah, huh, yeah? Panoti, Panoti. पनोती वो अच्छा भला अच्छा भला वहाँ पे अच्छा भला हमारे लड़के वहाँ पे वर्ल्ड कप जीत जाते वो वहाँ पे पनोती हरवा दिया टीवी वाले ये नहीं कहेंगे टीवी वाले ये नहीं कहेंगे मगर जनता जानती है Shazia Almi, Tushar Gupta, Kamal Zaman Chaudhary continue with us. We're joined by senior journalist Rashid Kidwai. It seems too much of a coincidence, Rashid Kidwai, from Chokidar Chor Hai to now Panoti bang before the elections. Mr. Gandhi says something and gets censured for it. Does it have any political implications? Padmaja, political decency is not a, you know, a one-way street. It has to be observed by everyone. And election commission, when election commission acts, uh, the entire committee, uh, entire country takes a note of it because it's uh, election, uh, you know, season is on and they're going to be soon model code of conduct. But election commission has to be very consistent. Uh, I support them. I, I see what they are trying to convey. Hmm. But this kind of, you know, norms of uh, decency in discourse uh, should be applicable to all. It is the other day election commission said that religion should not be mixed with politics. Uh, I welcome that. But again, I would expect election commission to be even-handed. And that is a real test in democracy. Shazia Elmi, it's okay to tell Rahul Gandhi to not call the Prime Minister Panoti, but does every agency seem to be targeting him alone? So here, here it is again, you know, just once again, you raise, you raise, you raise uh, the same old bogey, run down institutions, uh, you know, ask uh, and question their credibility. And, 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 you know, so and there's, a, there's a petition in place and this is the answer. And election commission is saying, it's cautioning Rahul Gandhi from doing so. What happened the last time? Chokidar Chor hai. Where did it go? Supreme Court. Because Rahul Gandhi made it a campaign. And Modi ji said, yes, maybe Chokidar. And they, all of India said, maybe Chokidar. What happened in Lalu Prasad Yadav said he's childless, he doesn't have children, he's not fit to be there, Inka to Parivar nahi hai. What did Modi ji say and we all are part of it that the entire country is my family. Now Rahul ji does it again and talks about him being Parati. I mean it's just, it's just so indecent and unbecoming. Hmm. It just doesn't even make sense. You know what happened with Rahul Gandhi again? This was a matter of Gujarat High Court. What happened on that matter when he says, Sare Modi, Sare Choro ka naam Modi kyu hai? I mean he just doesn't get it, does he? I, 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 for the life of me, I can't figure out why hmm. would he, would he be so non-serious? And then there are people and serious journalists like Rashid Bhai who say, oh, election commission should be careful. I think it's going, you know, you're barking at the wrong tree. You should really be telling Rahul Gandhi, please have some credibility. Okay, Rashid Kidbhai wants to respond. Rashid Kidbhai wants to respond. And do not indulge in this because it, it's, you... <laughs> Look, my friend, no, no, no. Shazia is making an allegation which is uh, untrue. I said the norms of decency should be there in public discourse. But I also said that election commission, which is like an umpire, a neutral umpire, must maintain its neutrality. Uh, Padmaja, problem is there that there are a lot of things come in the ambit of propriety, not exactly the legality of it. If somebody uses a sort of, uh, you know, an expression which is inappropriate, then it comes in the in the ambit of propriety, not hmm. legality of it. You cannot send somebody to jail. Shazia made a reference about Chokidar Chore. Uh, Rahul Gandhi was pulled up by Supreme Court by not that pronouncement because he sought to attribute that as if, you know, the Supreme Court has, has reflected upon it. And that was a, that was a, that was a factor on which Rahul Gandhi had to apologize. So we must get facts right. Hmm. We should not be carried away by, you know, sentiments of, you know, belonging to a political party and an ideology. But the conviction that has happened from court for saying that Sare Modi Chor hai? 
the criticism he is attracted rashid kidwai for yes, his yes, recent that, comment that, about that, ye log no, no. sharab pi ke sadkon pe lete hue hain youth yahan par sab bhooke marne wale hain it's a trend Yes, but there but there there are lot of other comments are there के इस community के लोगों को आप कपड़ों से पहचान सकते हो you know पचास करोड़ की girlfriend there are lot of things I don't want to speak from political position and Padmaja that that thing that you are referring to on which Rahul Gandhi was actually disqualified then he was brought back there is a you know the trial is going on and that was about you know a, you know defamation a criminal defamation criminal defamation in civil society itself is very problematic. and the bjp itself has been at one point of time opposed to it so we must we must look at reference to context we cannot be quoting things out of context just to suit a particular political ideology or a political uh, uh, slant hmm tushar gupta you know a lot of people have said that rahul gandhi has become a convenient punching bag for everyone this whole image that has been made of him as pappu a non serious politician and now everyone is actively feeding into it Everyone will say things on the election campaign. They will say कि कब्रिस्तान शमशान इनको कपड़ों से पहचानो सारी गर्मी निकाल देंगे तुम्हारा तो हम इलाज कर देंगे But Rahul Gandhi says one thing and election commission, court, social media, everyone jumps down his throat. You know, Padmaja Rahul Gandhi is consumed by his own rhetorics and lies. Consumed so much. that he's stuck in an infinite loop that keeps rotating keeps rotating and he's churning out the same rhetorics every day if he wants to address the prime minister in a certain way he can go ahead do it his party men did that in 2014 chai wala pradhan mantri nahi ban sakta kya hua 2014 mein pheeki chai kiste pi congress ne 2019 mein aapne bol diya chaukidar chor hai rafal ke mudde par chaukidar mein bhi chaukidar campaign kiste chalaya logo ne chalaya kisko har देखनी पड़ी कांग्रेस को 2022-23 में आपने कह दिया हमारे लड़के जीत रहे थे प्रधानमंत्री पनौती हैं दिसंबर तीन को रिजल्ट घोषित हुए मध्य प्रदेश राजस्थान छत्तीसगढ़ किसकी सरकार साफ होगी कांग्रेस की द प्रॉब्लम इज राहुल गांधी डजेंट वॉन्ट टू लर्न एंड इफ यू थिंक्स इज ए पंचिंग बैग बाय ऑल मीन कंटिन्यू मेकिंग दो रिमार्क्स इज ओनली प्लेइंग टू द गैलरी ऑफ हिस्स कांग्रेस सपोर्टर्स बट ऑन द ग्राउंड द सेंटिमेंट इज टर्निंग अगेंस्ट हिम what people seen rahul gandhi after such remarks are made is an entitled dynast who doesn't understand the dignity of the office of the prime minister who doesn't understand the magnitude of welfare this prime minister has given to the entire country in 10 years they But, see you know, rahul gandhi when you talking about the dignity of the prime minister to be fair remarks, to be fair Arnaf when the upa was in government things were said the about prime Man, dr office, manmohan singh the also the prime minister's office the prime minister's office he was called dr manmohan singh Okay, since you mentioned Dr. Manmohan Singh, no, no. Since you mentioned Dr. Manmohan Singh, you know there is a there is a very famous public story that we all remember when the Pakistani Prime Minister had referred to Dr. Manmohan Singh in a rather unacceptable uh, manner. The entire Congress party was quiet, and at that moment, there was the Gujarat Chief Minister Narendra Modi who stood up and said, "You cannot address my Prime Minister like that. Hmm. I might." have disagreements with him i might have disagreements with the party but then the gujarat chief minister narendra modi said you cannot address the prime minister of india in a certain way whoever you might be so look at the difference between the congress and the bjp okay. the prime minister then the chief minister understood the office and the dignity of the office of the prime minister does this prime minister aspirant do understand that absolutely not and that is why people consider him a non serious politician okay kamar zaman choudhary to be fair it may have been said in a lighter vein but this joke backfired now padmaja if you are discussing tonight about the election commission's letter or strictures against rahul gandhi to be careful in the future uh, you know we we all are against about the election commission's impartiality rather i can say that because once the supreme court has ordered how the election commission of india should be appointed and we all know how bharatiya janata party changed it overnight by an ordinance but then you see let me take you back to 2019 when there you know that yogi adityanath was stopped from Prime campaigning Minister. for 72 no. hours by the same election commission in 2019 no, but go on. finish please i understand let me just take you that this whole panel rather has got different yardstick for different people they 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 are so much afraid of issuing any strictures against narendra modi hmm. no matter how low he can go to attack the 
opposition Sir, Anurag Thakur and Pravesh Verma were removed from the list of star campaigners and in 2020. Make an, no, no. Yogi Adityanath was effect. barred from campaigning altogether for three days. No, I am telling, I am telling what action they took and what action they did not take. Because one particular complaint, let me tell you, which changed the course of 2019 election was the Purwama terror attack. When the Congress party complained against the Bharati Janata Party and Narendra Modi ji using our Pulwama martyrs for their electoral gains, the election commission turned it down. Okay. At that time, the election commission, if it had stood up against Narendra Modi, then today also we would have humbly accepted the strictures against Rahul Gandhi today. Okay. But Tushar Gupta wants to quickly respond. Tushar Gupta. Impartial. No, when Kamruzaman Chaudhary says that Pulwama turned the election towards the BJP, I don't really understand what he means. But if he means that the BJP was able to take decisive action hmm. in 2019, which the Congress was unable to in 2008 after 26-11 attacks, then the people are the judge of it. The voters are the judge of it. What BJP did during the campaign doesn't really matter because the voters saw how two different governments responded to Pakistan when terrorist attack happened. Okay, and, okay. let's leave Raja, Pulwama again, out of it because Rahul I think Gandhi that has been done and dusted parts. in 2019. Let me actually quote a specific example. Shazia Elmi, when the Prime Minister... Without taking his name, calls Rahul Gandhi Murkho ka Sardar, everyone goes LOL. When Rahul Gandhi says, Are wo to panoti hai panoti, everyone is like, Oh my God. Sometimes everyone should take a joke, right? Sure, sure. And I also think that it's not very uh, wise to just indulge in this uh, constant mud slinging that goes on either on social media or otherwise. But there are people who, who support their leaders and they can have an issue with it and they, they have every right to go to election commission and complain, just like people from the Congress party do. And I have been part of many debates where any word against the Gandhi Parivar is taken amiss and all kinds of things are, are thrown at you. Hmm. So it works both ways. And I, I can tell you, I mean, the Mount Modi ji has been vilified. I don't know. As a journalist, as an activist, and now in the BJP, as a politician, I have never seen in the history of all my reporting and activism and in politics that one man having been vilified so much by all the opposition, lots of media, foreign press, and what have you. Okay, and was it vilification or was it meant to been, be a light-hearted uh, comment? To... The election commission though not taking any action against Rahul Gandhi right now, has advised caution. Will everyone exercise the same caution? Let's certainly hope so, for the sake of a civil election. All gentlemen, Shazi Almi, thanks for joining me.